Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. The question that I have been getting a lot, Amber, Hula or Fenty? Let's talk about it. So Fenty Beauty came out with their bronzers this past Friday. Today is currently Monday. You guys saw me test out Hula on a live video for the first time. I think it was probably about two or three weeks ago. And um, we were all pleasantly surprised. This was before anyone knew that Fenty was going to drop their bronzer. So of course, you guys saw me use this. I love this and have been loving this a lot. So when Fenty came out, you guys were asking me, what do you think? What do you think so we're here to talk about this today we're going to do demos we're going to do comparisons you're going to hear my pros you're going to hear my cons you're going to hear my thoughts you're going to hear all that so let's go ahead and get into it first what we're going to do is let me zoom you in zoom your right on in and I'm going to put Fenty on one side and then Hula on the other I'll use different brushes and all that jazz so first let's go in with the Fenty and we're just gonna use my Real Techniques. This is actually a blush brush, but I like using this for bronzer. Both of the brushes that I use, I use them for bronzer. So I am in the shade Mocha Mommy. The shade before this one, I can't think of the name of it. I can't remember the name. The shade before this one was a little too cool tone, I thought, and I'll make sure that I post my swatches in my videos so that way you guys can kind of get a better idea. When I snapped my photo of this, it does seem to look a little bit lighter than it does in person. When I saw it in person, it looked way darker than what I was expecting just from the photos. So just be mindful of that. It does look a little bit warmer. All right, so I'm just gonna start up by putting this on the side of my cheeks here. So I bought this on Friday when I got off of work and I wore it Friday night because I was in Atlanta over the weekend celebrating my best friend's birthday. We saw Amanda Seals, we love her. If you know who she is, let me know down below in the comments. Um, we saw Amanda Seals, so I wore it out that night. So I wore it Friday night, I wore it Saturday, and I wore it Sunday. So today is my fourth time messing with it. I kind of instantly immediately when i first used it i already had my thoughts on it it didn't take me long whatsoever to gather my thoughts with this one all right so here is what it's looking like so this side here this is what mocha mommy and then over here nothing over here and i'll just All right, so that is the Fenty side. Now we're gonna do Hula Toast It, and I'm using my Morphe M527. Love this brush for how it applies my bronzer. Hate it because it sheds. All right, so on this side, we have our Hula Toasted. And on this side, we have our Fenty Mocha Mommy. So I'm not gonna add any more like blush or anything, <clears throat> just simply because after this video, I have to run some errands and we have to even all of this out. So we're just gonna leave it as is. But first, let's talk about a few things. We'll go into some pros and cons. First thing, let's talk about the packaging. All right, so here is the Hula Benefit Toasted Packaging. I hate this packaging. I do not like this. Um, I don't know why they put it in this box. It's just, I don't know. And then sometimes like if it goes on the inside, it'll leave a dent on the powder, which is a little bit annoying to me. I cannot stand the packaging of this. And then this mirror is tiny. Like who is really going to be using this? I mean, you can't really use this mirror for anything. I think Benefit should totally revamp all of their Hula bronzer packaging because uh, don't like it. 
Venti packaging, however, stunning. So rose gold, it has a beautiful mirror, Fenty on the bottom, pan, easy access, you can get into it. You can easily get into this one with your brush too, but like I said, I just, I do not like the packaging. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, which one do I need? It's all going to be a matter of what you prefer. I pr I'm probably going to um, get some comments about this just simply because I know a lot of people are Fenty ride or dies, they're Fenty stands, Fenty is the end all be all, Fenty is the best, period, nothing else. However, I am a fan of Fenty. I love Fenty products, I love Riri, I, all well and good. But I think sometimes what people do is, especially I know it was very, very innovative and a big deal when she came out off the rip with all of these shades automatically, inclusivity, that was the trend, we're still riding that bandwagon, yada, yada, yada. That's great, that's all well and good. And because of that, you know, Fenty has been reigning as the queen, you know, so from since Fenty came out till now, I feel like whenever other makeup lines come out with anything, it's always in comparison to Fenty. Oh, well, Fenty has this, well, Fenty has that. Well, where I understand they have that, but what people have to realize is the Fenty foundation, that ain't for everybody. I'm oily, I love it. I'll tell you right off the bat, if you're dry, it ain't gonna work for you. So just because it does have such a large range, it does not mean a thing when you're talking about skin types. I love that there's so many shades and undertones and everyone can find something and it's tricky to find something, but just because they have X, Y, and Z doesn't automatically put them at the top of the list. You know what I mean? Because everything's not gonna work for everyone. Love the foundation, hate the concealer. I'm not into the highlighters and how chunky and glittery it is. So please keep that in mind. And also, I mean, this is just, you you see this with celebrities, you see this with beauty brands, everybody is at the top, you know, you're riding the wave. You start off at the top and then things change and then someone else comes in. That's just the way it is. So whenever I think of Fenty, I love it, but I also feel like people just act like it's the end all be all and they can do no wrong. Now I said all that to say this. I feel like Fenty did not come out with enough shades for their bronzer. And I feel like for a brand who off the rip, you know, came out with so many foundation shades, we expect nothing, nothing but that, you know? Now, eight is a lot, that's really, really good. I just think maybe just, they came out with eight, which is bomb, but the undertones of it all, the shade under, um, under Mocha Mommy, to me looked a little bit at, just it looked a little bit too cool tone. My beef with this one is it's red. You know, there's no there's no denying it. And I think of and I know a lot of people when they think of bronzers, they think of warmth, which is correct. You think of warming up the face, this being sun kissed and you know being nice and warm. And while this is warm, it's not horrible. However, it is a little too red for my liking. Something else that I noticed about this is um, it's red, which I'm not a fan of red tones on me personally, especially because I am so oily. And then once my oil starts pushing through, I look real real red something else is I just me personally I don't think this is deep enough um if you are my shade if you're deeper than me this isn't going to show up on you I forgot to take a picture I'll have to see if Lauren took a photo when I did her makeup that night of the um for the Amanda Seals show I was putting it on her and you legit you couldn't it just it didn't show up on her so I was kind of like okay mm so if you are my shade it will show up on you however if you do not like looking red then you might not be into this now is this horrible no it's not horrible it is just it's not my favorite I don't know I'm still kind of on the fence about it I was a little disappointed because I was expecting so much more but is it horrible no is the undertone not for me absolutely and I just kind of feel like they could have went deeper and maybe not so red but that's just my opinion now moving on here to hula toasted I'm a fan of Hula Toasted. I love it. I honestly prefer this over Fenty. Fight me, that's fine. It's my opinions. We all have opinions just like we all have buttholes. It's okay, you know? Now a lot of people's beef with Benefit is they've had Hula for so long and it's taken them so long to come out with this so therefore I'm not buying it. And while your feelings are valid and I totally understand why you feel the way that you feel, I get that. 
on the other side of it, I kind of look at it this way. It's like, yeah, it's super, super annoying that the cult favorite bronzer everyone loves and it took them this long to expand and come out with deeper shades. However, it took them a long time, but as far as I'm concerned, they got it right. I know there are a lot of brands out there where they just come out with stuff and they push it. Oh, here, 30 shades, X, Y, and Z. And it's kind of like, well, just because you have that many shades, it doesn't mean anything if they're not true shades that are gonna work on someone. Just because you come out with something faster than other brands doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be a killer and everyone's gonna love it and use it. So yes, it took them too long to come out with it, however, it's a bomb, it's a great product. For me personally, because I am more so of like a golden yellow undertone, I tend to stay away from things that are red. I feel like by the time my oil pushes through and if I have anything that's just too red for my skin tone, it's just not a good look. The Hoola Toasted for me, I feel like the Hoola Toasted is definitely, it is deeper than the Mocha Mommy and it's not red whatsoever. Honestly, I think it's more of a neutral tone and so if you are someone like me and you do have a more if you're a skin twin like me if you're more so of like a golden yellow undertone you will like this now let me hold off and switch and say if you are someone who does prefer to look a little bit more red you won't like this because this does not pull red on the skin whatsoever however I do feel like this is deeper than the Fenty but just again I feel like could they have gone deeper absolutely because this one on Lauren it showed up a touch more it showed up more than this but as far as her being able to use this as a true bronzer no it, it's not going to show up on her she's not going to be able to create the same look how it looks on me versus on her so that's just my two cents on it something else that I feel like too I feel like with the Fenty I have to really really build it up like it takes a moment for it to really get the intensity that I'm looking for however I'm a bronzer whore I love bronzer, so maybe that could just be me. I do have the tendency to over bronze, but I did realize like when I first initially put it in, it, nothing really showed up on my skin. So I had to really, really build. Whereas with the Hula Toasted, I think because it is a touch deeper and a little bit more pigmented, I don't really have to go in so hard with building it up. So the question is Fenty or Benefit? Me personally, I'm gonna roll with Benefit. That's just my personal opinion. And if you disagree with me, that is fine. It is totally okay for you to disagree with me. You guys wanted to hear my thoughts, so here they are. Down below, let me know if you plan on buying Fenty, buying Hula Benefit, and if you have tried either one, I wanna hear your thoughts, but please make sure when you leave your thoughts, let us know what your skin is. So are you light, medium, deep? Are you cool? Are you warm? Do you like to look more red? you like to look more neutral make sure you leave all that information so that way we can kind of get a better understanding of what your skin is because again someone might be the same like shade level as me but their undertone might might be different so the undertone really makes a huge difference on how things look because it's going to really really vary on everyone and also, you know, at the end of the day, it's just makeup and it's just going to be a matter of preference and what you prefer. I hope this video was helpful for you. You know the deal. Keep it simple and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.